There was more good news for UK travellers. Holidaymakers will now be able to take an overseas cruise, and that starts soon as well, next Monday. The British government says it will lift a ban on international cruises. We're lucky Simon Palethorpe is the president of Carnival UK. Two British brands, P&O and Cunard, plan to start routes in the coming months. Joins me now. Uh, unlike your counterparts in the airline industry that can suddenly sort of find, rustle up, lease, fine planes. They've got the slots, they've got the infrastructure. You can't, how quickly can you get one of the two ships that sail out of the UK up and running? Well, look, for, firstly, this is just um, great news. We've been working since March, 2020 on this with the government and with various health authorities. So today's news is incredibly welcome. It's welcome for our guests, it's welcome for our um, for our crew, for all of our staff, and, and for a huge supply chain that depends upon the cruise industry. To answer your question, though, um, the, d we've already been running some what we call domestic cruising. So that's cruising out of Southampton generally, going and looking at some stunning coastline, Jurassic Coast, Cornwall, Cornish Coast, which is wonderful, Scottish Highlands and Islands. Um, and so we have ships that are already sailing. What this is doing is this, this is allowing us to bring the rest of our ships out into action. But also it allows the ships that we've already got sailing in domestic cruises to, you know, widen their repertoire and go further afield. You know, Portugal, Spain, the Caribbean, these are the sort of places that are really um, first and foremost in our mind. And so we don't need to be going immediately into those places. But come September, we'll be ramping up our international cruises. Right, because you've had, I mean, you, you've really just been waiting for this day, haven't you? In the sense that um, if you're not ready now, your big boss will be asking why not. You've had plenty of time to polish this, you know, the dining silver uh, and get literally ship shape. Are you concerned? I mean, you know, the, the, the problem is go and it does get worse. And I, I understand you're doing everything possible. I've spoken, of course, to the CEO several times yeah. on this program. But are you concerned that the Delta variants trans transmissibility, even to those who have been double vaccinated, whilst not life threatening, is in many in most cases is a worry? Look, we've been working with the government for, for you know, months and months and months to make sure that um, we look after the well-being of both our crew and our guests on board. So, you know, we're, have, we're getting everybody to be double vaccinated, eh? both jabs um, plus 14 days, plus we're then making sure we test everyone, testing our crew regularly, testing our guests before they even get on board. So, no, we, we think we're creating actually what should be the safest bubble you can possibly be in for a travel experience. So we're, we're very confident. And the pent up demand for cruising, I mean, the, yeah. the sheer number of berths worldwide is actually quite small compared to airline seats, for example. Uh, and I'm constantly surprised at, 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 at that. Are you still maintaining your expansion plans or to repair balance sheets and to sort of get things going again? You're going to you're going to conserve for, for a year or two. I think it'll be somewhere in between. So, you know, we, we will we'll probably grow um, still pretty reasonably by any normal industry standards, maybe not quite as quickly yeah. as we had planned when we were before the pandemic. Um, but we, we are seeing incredible demand. You know, we're really seeing, you know, our guests just waiting in the wings saying, hey, we really want to sail with you the moment you think it's right. And, um, and we, we've certainly a look at look at our 2022 bookings, for example, they're really strong, right. you know, so so I'm very, very optimistic that, you know, that growth can be got back on track in due course. So the first the first biggie, the first international cruise, the first one that will sail from the UK. Where did you know where it's going to yet? I think we're heading, we've, got, we've actually got two ships heading out on the same day. Right. So we've got our flagship Britannia and we've got our brand new liquefied natural gas powered ship um, Iona sailing from Southampton on the 25th of September. Um, and they're heading south and we're going to places like the Canaries, oh. Portugal, oh. Spain. Oh. So oh. wonderful voyages. Oh, well, they'd be full, fully booked. Otherwise, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be saying we'll be on board. All right, sir. Good to see you, sir. I appreciate it. We will continue to talk more as the season goes on. Congratulations. It's been a long time to get this far. But, you know, it is good news tonight for travel in the UK and particularly, of course, cruising an airline. Thank you very much, sir.